historical marker sits near the Secret by the Pentagon. January 7th, 1948, 1.30 p.m., Kentucky State Police received reports of a UFO near Godman Air Force Base. On report, one great big bright shiny star. That one it appears like from the tower now. Four F-51 Mustangs on their way to Sanford Air Force Base, Kentucky, are contacted by the tower. Diamond Tower to Captain Mantell. Investigate an unidentified object in your area. Ordered to investigate a white object some 300 feet in diameter. One plane returns for fuel and oxygen. The three others approach the object. Man, tell the tower. I see it. Above and ahead of me. I'm still climbing. The planes climb to 22,000 feet. Too high for World War II fighters without oxygen. Two return to the base, leaving Captain Mantell in sole pursuit of the unknown. Minutes later, Mantell with another transmission. Mantell to tower. It appears to be a metallic object of tremendous size. Captain Mantell kept climbing, most likely past 30,000 feet. Radio contact was lost. Bradwin Tower to Captain Mantell. Come in. Over. This is Bradwin Tower to Captain Mantell. Come in. Over. Minutes later. Less than two hours from the initial sightings, Mantell's F-51 crashed on a farm in Franklin, Kentucky. His watch stopped at 3.16 p.m., his body still strapped in his plane. By all accounts, he passed out from a lack of oxygen, forcing his plane to plunge to the ground. Today, an historical marker sits near the site where Mantell's plane went down here in Franklin, Kentucky. In fact, it went down on a farm nearby, Joe Phillips' farm. His son, a schoolchild then, was one of the first on the scene. We heard this real loud boom, you know. It actually shook the house. In fact, it was the best I remember, it was two of them, like an explosion. William Phillips Jr. was six years old and homesick with his younger sister when the crash occurred. We ran to the window and just happened to run to the right window and see it hit the ground just as it hit the ground.